Dermot, but the player on the near post. Got the back with that time, there's Peters! So easy! And Ray Clements beaten before he had a chance to touch the ball. Martin Peters, a really very, very simple header from about two yards out. The second corner produced the flick on the near post. And when it came across, the ball was absolute meat and drink for Martin Peters to put past Clements. Naturally, that has produced a very early crescendo from the crowd. It's Phil Neal. David Fairclough took it away from Brown nicely and did well to put it back, but couldn't put it back enough for Kenny Douglas. As the Norwich manager, now in his position in the stand alongside him is Ken Brown. Kevin Keelan, 680th appearance. Ryan, Fashionu, McDermott. Fair clap wide to the right. That's nice into Sammy Lee. He returns the compliment well. Chance here for Fairclough. And it's in. And the two players brought into the side this afternoon for Liverpool combined to get the equaliser. David Fairclough, the scorer. And it was Sammy Lee who fed him. Pass and return. Fairclough to Lee. Lee back to Fairclough, who picked his point and put it wide of the goalkeeper, who got a touch but couldn't keep it up on the line, but Peters, where he was before, will move in. Reeves and Bond for the back flick. There goes Peters, comes straight to him. Well, that's two different positions that he met the header, and on neither occasion was he picked up. Stanley again. And here's Darkleash, Keelan committed. Downs covering the middle. His case. Oh! And Ray Kennedy only needed the mildest of touches to turn it in, but he couldn't find it. Jimmy Case is shot, and Keelan really caught out of his ground, but got away with it. And Sammy Lee. Hansen has taken over. Oh, he saw the gap too beautifully. So a lovely dummy. And Fairclough puts it in! Marvellous goal from David Fairclough. Second goal of the match, his second league goal of the season. But this is the man who deserves the greater part of the credit. His eyes summing up what he feels about it as he's now joined by the scorer. A really lovely run. And it was using Fairclough by not using him during the course of that run that he sold a superb dummy to the Norwich defence and enabled the room to open up in front of him. John Ryan. Brown again on the line. Peters again coming from the back. And it was Bond and turned off the line by Lee. Bond's flick and Sammy Lee who got it off the line. That's a good ball. Brown to Bond. Fashionu and Hansen. Mendham. Patton. Reeves! All in the end, and it came down to the foot of Reeves. 2-2. Two -two. Four men involved in the move, and it was looking promising from the moment that Brown started it from a pass out of defence. Final header on, falling to Reeves' his foot, who was able to arc it away from Ray Clements. Ray Kennedy. Douglas and Jones. McDermott, Douglas. And finally it was Case. Case, whose shot was power and flick at the same time. But what a lovely little ball McDermott played through then to uh, Douglas. Fashionu. That's nice. The long legs, the good purpose there. And shielded by Reeves. Ryan chipped up. Fashionu. And Peters! No! It was spinning across the area. Peters arriving as he does so often as the ball came across from Justin Fashionu. 
on just the wrong side of the post. Neil. That's nice. They're back by Ray Kennedy to Dalglish. And down at far post. Fairclough taking the same ground. Now coming near and scores! And that's a hat trick for David Fairclough. And some good running off the ball. And Dalglish had two options open to him. Fairclough and McDermott were for a moment running to the same area. But Fairclough peeled away, took the nearer position from Dalglish's viewpoint and tucked it in, receiving the pass neatly enough to make Liverpool lead by 3-2 to two, and all three goals scored by David Fairclough. Peters to take. Fashionu. McGuire couldn't get there. All over the place it was. Downs. Peters. Fashionu. Good save. Carried the ball forward as he dived. And he was able to hold it out from Fashionu's header. Fashionu. Oh, oh, what a goal! Oh, that's a magnificent goal! Didn't seem to be the room between Ray Clements' hand and the post. And John Bond still wants to make a defensive point of cover as the crowd applaud. Surely one of the best goals I've seen at Carrow Road this season. Really sweet turn by the tall man. And curling high up just away from Ray Clements' hand and just inside his far right hand post for 3 3. On by Fashion Hill Reeves. Bought and challenged by Alan Kennedy on Maguire. Amazing what a difference a goal can make, but here's Bergler. Killing to face him. Up. And he catches it between his knees. Unbelievable. Clough has scored all three for Liverpool and they haven't been enough to win the match for them but he had the chance then to win it and couldn't take it. Case. Douglas in the box in the middle. Here is McDermott. And there's Douglas! McDermott found by Neil and the cross only about a yard out and Kenny Douglas down on all fours to get the nod in. 4-3 to Liverpool. And Kenny Douglas, who's complained a bit, hoped a bit, hasn't always got what he thought he should have got. In the end, perhaps has got the winner. There are 90 seconds of the 90 minutes remaining. And John Bond saying everything for Norwich in that expression. What do you have to do to beat Liverpool? He must be thinking. Play on. Here's Douglas. Here's Case. And Kevin Bond away. And Case allowed to go on and scores. Good decision by the referee, allowing him to continue. And we've come to the 89th minute, and now, for the first time in the afternoon, there is no doubt about which side is going to win. The expressions of the players on opposite sides, very telling son's face matching that of his father. Eight goals, some magnificent entertainment, but a very hard defeat for Norris to take. Further proof of what's becoming an old adage in football, you have never beaten Liverpool or even got a draw with them until the match is finally over. Fashion who Reeves. Oh, what was Alan Kennedy doing? <laughs> Ray 
Thomas looked up at him and smiled. There's the hat trick man. Ray Kennedy. Hansen. McGuire. Is there to be a ninth? Padden. Reeves. Forced a bit wide. And the answer to my question is no. And eight goals is surely feast enough. Three of them from David Fairclough. In Liverpool's total of five, as against three by Norwich City. Really marvellous entertainment, which ends up with Norwich City's unbeaten home record being spoiled by the league champions. Certainly they look the more likely winners in the second half, but just as they seem to have won it through Fairclough's third goal of the afternoon, the brilliant effort by Fashionu tied it up. It looked then likely to be a draw, but it ends up as 5-3 to the team who play right.